Assalamualaikum and good morning. My name is Mama Azhar bin Muhammad Farid with the ID number of 92110307547001. In this module, EBTM 3103 Project Management, let us go through the 12 Project Management Principles. What is a principle? Principles are not prescriptive. They don't tell on how to do something. There are not policies or goals. They simply underpin the things that should be done. Think of principles as inalienable truth to live by or to work by. The thing with principles is that they are designed to inform the actions. The standard for project management set out, set out 12 principles that anyone leading project should be able to live by. The 12 principles of the project management are the first one is the stewardship, second one is the team, next the stakeholders, the value, system thinking, leadership, tailoring, quality, complexity, risk, adaptability and resilience and the last one is the, is the change among the 12 principle of project management there are critical principle on managing project and respond during the current COVID-19 pandemic this critical principle is basically is the leadership the COVID-19 pandemic has changed people's attitude towards institutions in general and towards employee in particular. Leaders need to respond by reframing their approach towards employees, focusing on the individual as a whole, drawing on sociology and system thinking. Leaders need to create flexible and responsive institutions which build on intangible assets and generate value. The COVID-19 pandemic has blurred the division between our work and family life and shift what we value. It has also fundamentally reshaped our relationships with institutions including healthcare the government and employers. This new reality requires a new approach from leaders. Increasingly, employees are challenging systems that have traditionally governed the workplace, such as presentism, hierarchical management, and performance assessment. Uh, here are five ways leaders can reframe their approach in a post-pandemic world. The first one is the individual as a whole. Leaders need to work with the individual as a whole. An employee's work persona is just one part of their wider life experience embedded deeply within the community and wider society. Leaders must shift their mindset to acknowledge that employees' experience goes beyond work. They must focus on design holistic policies, structures, and systems that are fluid and contextual. During the pandemic, some organizations recognized the strain experienced by employees with children during the school break when holiday cramps were not an option they sponsor, they, they sponsor activities such as art classes for young children during employees prime time this organization were not only creative in getting the best out of their employees during the most productive periods of the day but also inclusive as they acknowledge their life outside work the second one is the leader as a sociologist. 
there are lessons to be learned from the great resignation. A recent, a recent survey of over 330,000 workers conducted by Microsoft found that 41% were considering quitting, which rising to 54% among younger workers. To counterbalance this wave of dissatisfaction, organization will need to develop fluid structures that are democratic, agile, and versatile. Executive particularly shift human resource officer and shift experience officer should draw upon solution outside of their usual discipline looking to sociology and system thinking. The third one is the psychological safety, the well-being and also the motivation. The role of leadership is to create psychologically safe spaces for employees to be able to speak freely and bring their whole self to work. Studies have highlighted the unprecedented level of stress and burnout for employees during the pandemic. Ensuring employee well-being is particularly important and challenging when staff are working remotely or in hybrid work schedules. According to Amy Edmondson, the professor of leadership and management at the Harvard Business School, she said that we, we now have to work a little harder to share what we are thinking, to ask questions, adding that there is now a need to be deliberate in amplifying voices in distributed working scenarios. The fourth one is the equitable experiences. Leaders are responsible for making sure that employees have equal access to opportunities at work. Technology platforms can play a significant role by providing similar access to tools and features, but leaders need to go further. True equity is about creating conditions that generate similar outcomes for, their, for diverse individuals, which is irrespective of levels, backgrounds, and also social status. It is a well-known fact that women have been disproportionately impacted by the pandemic. In a recent survey of North American female employees, one in four women said they, are, they were thinking about reducing or leaving paid work due to the pandemic. Citing company inflexibility, caring responsibilities, and also the stress. The fifth one is the insight over data. Organizations often have access to plenty of data, but still lack insight when it comes to valuing intangible assets such as reputation, human capital, and intellectual property. This is an area where leaders need to rethink what they measure. As Donella Meadows, the Rion system thinker said, we value what we measure. For example, investments in mental health, health initiative alone are not a measure of effective well-being system. Instead, we need to measure the extent to which the initiative are being used by individuals who need them. A remarkable feature of the pandemic has been the focus on these intangible assets that are by definition harder to measure. This will be the key when it comes to acquiring and retaining talent and account for as much as 85% of the total business value across industries. As a conclusion, as, much, as mentioned earlier, there are tough principles which are shifting the practice of project management. It is becoming more important that teams focus on broad principles and less on the process. How we use 
this principle in our work at the moment if we don't think we are doing the best job focus on choosing one principle to work on and adopt then go from then go from them from there and continue to build our skills layering our on the principles as we go thank you